game. What the heck? So islands 2 and 3 have access to the PC. And the reason we're exploring Sevi Islands is to get access to the PC for one island. Then why the heck can't one island get its crap together? Come on! Ugh, always been confused by that. Anyway. Hey everyone, Lightning Spirit 78 here. Welcome back to some more of Let's Play Pokemon Leaf Green. In the last episode, we got some stuff done on uh, Free Island here. And now we're going to head out to uh, Bond Bridge and uh, the next area of the game to uh, find a little uh, still. Yeah, I kind of forgot about that, to be honest. Uh, that, that was our entire reason for uh, being here. And as you can see, I cut a Persian off screen. Uh, actually, it was during the last episode, to be honest, that I caught that thing. I love Persian. It's one of my more favorite uh, normal types. Dang it. Are we already going to start with this? Hello, Bell Sprout. You're kind of putting me in a bad mood. <laughs> okay, now that we're done with that, I fought all of these trainers off screen. Just like I tend to do. And now we are going to enter the next area the berry forest. This forest here uh, basically makes up for the fact that there are not a lot of berries in a generation, or that there were no berries in Generation 1, and they really didn't have a lot of places to put berries in Kanto, uh, because they wanted to stay uh, true to the Generation 1 games. Basically, you could find almost every berry that you could get in Hoenn in this forest. Um, and we're also after something else, too. Ooh, level 37, I want that. Uh, the reason I'm catching this, uh, Pidgeotto is to evolve it into a Pidgeot. Uh, which, then I can complete the Pidgey family for the Pokedex, so, uh, get over here, Pidgeotto. I need to capture you for our Pokedex. Yay, we got Pidgeotto. Uh, I'll evolve him eventually. Uh, there's actually only a few Pokemon out of this whole, like, grand scheme of, uh, Pokemon that we've been trying to catch that I actually do need to evolve. Uh, Pidgeot was one, Rhyhorn is another, that'll be a jerk. And, um... Dodrio is another one that I need to, uh, get via evolution. Uh, really, that's not too bad. Um, you know, it's really not that bad just evolving those three Pokemon via level up. It could be worse. I could be stuck trying to get a Dragonite, but you guys voted for Dragonite like I was hoping, and I didn't get, have to get stuck with doing all that off screen. But... I really hope that's not the only reason that Dragon I won, because I accidentally kind of slipped in that episode saying that I wanted it to win, but... And people were nice to me and wanted it to win, but I, I don't know. <sighs> Enough talking about that, because I want that item. I, I want that item so. It, it, it mocks me. It's just mocking, mocking this. I, I don't know where I'm going with that. Okay. To be honest, this forest isn't that complicated. Uh, it looks like you would need cuts, but you don't. Yeah, see those little dark patches on the ground? Yeah, they're filled with berries. Ah. Again, I don't have any money for, uh, Max Repels. Oh yeah, you can get, uh, Weepin' Bells and Glooms here, uh, depending on which version you have. Uh, they're a little bit easier to get here than in other places, so... Probably should have waited to get it here, but... Oh, wait, 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 no! I went the wrong direction. We want to go down here. Because once we get here, we're going to find something. But first, what is this? Ooh, Petcha Berry. Not bad. Yeah, as you can see, all the berries are named after actual fruit. They're either a play on words, or they're, like, the fruit mixed up, or they're the fruit with one letter missing, or something. I don't know. Hey, it's lost still. Sniff Whimper, oh please help me. A scary Pokemon appeared a little while ago. It kept scaring. It kept scaring. That, that's totally not a fragment. It made Lostel scared. But I'm too scared to move. But I want to go home. Oh, here it comes again. No, no way, it's scaring me. Ah, no, I want to go And here is a new Pokemon that you can get here in Berry Forest. It's Hypno. Oh god, it's female. <laughs> that really shouldn't mix. Um, <laughs> Hypno here is the evolved form of Drowsy, and probably one of the creepiest Pokemon out there. 
just look at it. Just really look at it, and yeah. Anyway, Hypno. Uh, it's more of, um, like I said, an attacking psychic type, but it does have some decent special attack. Uh, don't let that fool you. Though most of its moves are more dedicated towards an attacking Pokemon. So, Hypno is an interesting psychic type, definitely, but I'm gonna pass on it because A, my team's full, and uh, B, I have no reason for it, so. That it creeps me out a bit. Now I'm gonna try and stuff you in a Pokeball whether you like it or not. Now get in there. Oh boy. <laughs> Are we going to like pull a mole trace here? I mean, I'm gonna be forced to use Ultra Balls in a minute, but eh. They don't want to. I like putting things in Pokeball. You're gonna make me use an Ultra Ball, aren't you? I kinda don't want to, but whatever. Unless you somehow pull a miracle and get in this one Pokeball, which I know you're not going to. Yep, see, sure. Oh, God. Oh, well, whatever. Okay, Ultra Ball, go. Now, if this doesn't catch it, I'll be surprised. One, two, three, click. Okay, could have been that simple, but I had to be stubborn about getting it in a Pokeball, and now I gotta buy, like, a ton more Pokeballs. Whatever. No, I'm not giving the nickname to that creepy, creepy thing. Oh, that was so scary. Thank you. I still came to pick some berries. You can have this. Let me get an... A what now? Aya Papa Berry? I've never heard of the Aya Papa Berry. And what is that, a plant papaya? Yeah, it has to be. Aya Papa Papaya. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. What's your name? I'm still scared, so can I go with you to my daddy's house? Okay, let's go home. Teleport! So, you rescued Lostel. How can I thank you? Lostel, darling, forgive me. Daddy didn't know you were scared and in trouble. It's okay, Daddy. I got to be friends with Hikari. Uh, about that. Um, we have a meteorite for you. There you go, good sir. Two favors for the price of one. Don't, don't mention it. Now, um, yeah, we get a moonstone. Oh, what? I actually forgot you get a moonstone. I from that. Anyway, now that we're done with that little quest, let's go back to One Island and see if the two clowns are done with the PC system, because clearly it works over here. What the heck? Actually, no, I was wrong in the beginning. Our quest wasn't to save, um, the PC network from working. It was to buy some time for them to get the PC to work, and for us to save Lostel and deliver the meteorites. Really, we could have delivered the meteorite immediately, but since Lostel was missing, and then they were all like, Oh, you gotta go slave her. Anyway. Oh, hey, Ikari. What kept you so long? Been out having a good time? Yeah, I guess you could say that. We caught a firebird. We got it done. The PC's up and running. The job went incredibly quick. Bill was one amazing guy. No, no, no. It, uh, there was almost nothing left for me to do. Celio, I have, I have to hand it to you. You've learned a lot. Oh, really? Well, there you have it. It's basically done. We should head back to Kanto. Celio, I'll be seeing you again someday. Hikaru, I'm really sorry that we made you go up alone today. I promise that we'll show you around these islands sometimes. Wait, no, I want my prize. No, no, I... I uh, whatever. I guess we did all that for a moonstone, which I don't even need anymore, but whatever. Hey, that wasn't a long cruise. My buddy Celio seemed to enjoy your company. I'm sure he'd welcome you again if you uh, went to visit him. Yes, you can go uh, visit the uh, Sevi Islands anytime you want with the Tri Pass. So that makes training a bit easier. Uh, all you have to do is go to, Ver to um, Vermilion City's port. And he disappears into nothingness. Where did he go? No one will know. Anyway. Now we're here on Route 21, and there's only one new Pokemon you can really find here, and that is the grass type Pokemon Tangela. Tangela is actually the only pure grass type Pokemon of this generation. Really, it's nothing all that special. Um, I've never found any use for it. It's definitely unique. Um, to be honest, I really don't know much about Tangela. But, uh, I mean, if you want to try and capture one, go ahead. It's definitely interesting, not to say the least. To be honest, Tangela has a bit more of a use in Generation 4 when it evolves into Tangrowth, but... That's just me. Then again, I've never used Tangrowth either, but I've heard it's pretty decent. It's a step up. 
And with that all said and done, let's surf here. And welcome back to Pallet Town, people. Yeah, we, we made a complete and utter circle around Kanto. And it only took us, what, 25 episodes to do so? Let's go talk to Mom. Okay, yeah, this is basically where you can take a quick rest and heal up your Pokemon. And really, there's not much for us to do here. I'm not even going to waste uh, any time seeing Old Man Oak, because there's something we need to do over at Viridian. I really hope I don't run into a level 3 Pidgey! That well, level 3 Rattata works. That was a bit annoying. Let's just leave and never come back. Anyway, Viridian City, we are here. And we are here to do stuff. What stuff could that be? Well, I'll talk about that in a sec. Okay, now there's actually one new Pokemon that you can catch here with the, um, the Super Rod. And that Pokemon is Poliwhirl, the evolved form of Poliwag. Uh, Poliwhirl is, um, a pretty decent water type. Um, when it fully evolved into Poliwrath, it's a nice water fighting type, so it's a pretty good attacker. Uh, all in all, it learned some decent moves, and also, if you want that, uh, Jinx back in, uh, Cerulean City, I recommend picking it up finally here. So, without further ado, if you remember way, 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 way back when, in probably, like, episode 2 or 3, yeah, episode 2, uh, dang it. Um, you saw that there's a gym there, but we've never taken it on, we've seen it, but when we were here, the gym leader was gone. Viridian's gym leader's returned. Really? Let's see if we go pay him a visit. Yo, champ in the making. Even I don't know the Viridian gym leader's identity. Really, interesting. But one thing's certain, this will be the toughest of all gym leaders. I doubt that. Especially if he uses ground types. Blast toys can sweep him. Or her. Anyway, yeah. This is it, the final gym battle. Um, I would fight all the trainers, but, uh, to be honest, it's kind of tedious and wow, I fail. Okay. To be honest, I'm trying to remember exactly how you go through this gym, and it's not that way. Okay, you want to go up here. And there's a couple of mandatory trainers, I believe, coming up here. So, any card, get out there and show them what you're made of. Oh, wow. We didn't actually need to fight that guy. Interesting. This guy, I believe you do need to fight. Birdie and Jim was close for a long time, and now that our leader's back. I butchered that sentence. Yay! Ah, oh, the cool trainers. As you can see, these guys are actually no pushovers. These guys actually have some pretty decent Pokemon. Sand Slash is a step up. Definitely a step up from the normal Pokemon that we see here. Mostly with the, uh, with the Rattatas and the, and the coughings that we've fought, like, numerous times. I actually wonder, what is the most... <sighs> what Pokemon have we fought the most? I actually wonder, like, what Pokemon have we fought most in this playthrough? I'm not gonna go back and check, but I'm curious. Inquiring minds want to know. Ah, oh, Slash. If you get a crit, okay. Dragon Rage! And yay! It's down. Now, it does make me wonder who this gym leader could be. I mean, basically all the gym leaders have kind of been a mystery to us until we actually go to fight them, but... Hmm. I know! It's Ash from the anime! Totally! No. Nah. Considering your character is supposed to represent Ash from the anime, or actually, no, vice versa. Yeah, that couldn't be. Yeah, for those who didn't know, Ash was uh, based off of Red from uh, these games. He was the original hero. Alright. Doug Trio, you get out there. Hmm. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of ground types. Luckily, a uh, mix between uh, Doug Trio and uh, Blastoise should be able to sweep them utterly. What was that? Doug Trio, come on, man. You're king of the ground types with your speed. Sure, you're a bit fragile, but you're king of the ground types. Gotta be king of the ground types? I don't know. I only watched that show. Why did that pop into my head? Hmm. 
Nidorina. Okay. Well, we got a poison type. I wonder if that could be foreshadowing anything. Magnitude 6. Totally not gonna take it out. Hooray. Ooh. Oh, dang it. I thought I was gonna be wrong. That would have been one time where I would have loved to have been wrong. Flash. Yay. Now if it poison B, I'm gonna be ticked. Why do I open my mouth? Why do it? Amanda, please. I'm just rambling on. Okay, Nido King. I don't like you, you don't like me. Let's just finish it. Yeah, focus energy, you're gonna get a crit. No, 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 no. Doug Trio, no likey. Doug Trio, say you die. And when Doug Trio says you die, you die. Ah, oh, Doug Trio, you were wrong. You were wrong, you, you said he should die. And, and then he didn't. And now you died to a critical. Dang it. Hey. You need hard cleanup. I don't know, I'll admit, that, that, that kind of sucks. But now you're dead. Because when Edie's heart says you die, you die. When Doug Trio says it, it's a little iffy. But Edie's heart's a freaking dragon that didn't level up. Okay. Get around this dude. Come up here. <sighs> Yeah, hey, more mandatory trainers. You know what, guys? Let's test this out. Hydro Cannon! Hydro Cannon always looked awesome to me. I'm gonna say that now. Hydro Cannon kicks butt. And Edie Tart crew level. Huzzah. Marowak. Um, we're gonna keep in uh, Blastoise, and I will see you guys in just a sec. Okay, we got another mandatory trainer here. Oh, uh, this one I guess I can commentate through. Oh, I thought Hukini was dead. I was like, oh no. Oh no. I'm the Karate King. Karate King. Okay. He would like to battle and he sends out my choke. Not that threatening, really. Now watch it kill me for some odd reason. Nope, Psybeam, you're dead. Totally screwed. I love Alakazam. He's such a sweeping sweeper. Uh, I'm actually gonna send in a Blastoise for this just so I can get a lot, or get some more money. Cause I'm having a Blastoise hold the amulet coin in this place. Just because he'll probably be used the most. Because none of our other Pokemon can really handle ground types that much. Unless they're part rock, in which case, uh, um, Doug Trio could probably handle it. Uh, Houtini can handle it to an extent, and so can Eevee Part. Stormy, I'm not gonna send out at all. It's just asking for trouble. Then again, we have to fight the Oz before. I mean, Stormy beat a Marowak and a Cubone once, I think. Or maybe she lost a one, I can't remember. <laughs> Can we get a level up and totally not miss one? Yes! Level up. Okay. That is nice. That is very, very nice. Black Bell Takashi, you are done for. And with that, that's all the mandatory trainers. So we can go over and fight the gym later. But first, I'm going to heal up. Okay, now that we're all done with that, let us go on and take on the mystery gym leader of Re the In City. Okay, so the mystery gym leader is you. <laughs> Welcome to my hideout. It shall be so until I can restore Team Rocket to its former glory. But you have found me again. So be it. This time, I'm not holding back. Once more, you shall face Giovanni, the greatest trainer. Yeah! Giovanni, leader of Team Rocket, is the gym leader of Viridian City. At one time, it's been stated more times than not that Giovanni, at one point in his life, was the Viridian City gym leader before he turned to a life of crime. 
I don't know how many people actually saw that one coming way back when. <laughs> I will admit, I didn't. And his Pokemon aren't that bad. Uh, I'm gonna try and make this a bit more challenging by using uh, Eni's hard here and uh, I just didn't want to sweep everything with the... Okay, I guess I'm going to have to, fine. What I was saying is that I didn't actually want to sweep everything with the last choice, but... Really, he's leaving me no choice, but I'll send in Byron for now. Come on, man, impress me! Yay! Off screen, you kept getting magnitude four and missing. Actually, no, you weren't missing. Everyone else was missing and impressing me less, which kind of made me slightly sad. Anyways, next Pokemon is <gasps> Doug Trio. Mirror match, mirror match, mirror match. As we know, this thing's fast, but let's see who's faster. Mine is! Okay, let's see who's stronger. Yours is. <laughs> Unless. Can we pull a miracle? Yay! Mine's better, nana, and a boo boo. Okay. Neato Queen, actually. Ah, uh, let's leave you in. I want to get you a level up. Because this thing's part poison, so, um. It's gonna go down. Hopefully. Okay, no, it won't. No, it won't. If you would've gotten a magnitude 8 or 9, yeah, it would've, but... Uh, no, Byron, no! Okay. Time to get in the expert of sweeping. And go, Houdini. Side beam it up. Yeah, really? For the toughest gym leader of the game? He's not. And where was that crit last turn? Seriously now. Okay, neat, okay. I'm gonna keep in a Houdini and I'm going to do that. Bye bye. You know, I just realized that that thing would have had Mega Horn, which I don't think it does. Uh, the sidebars will show you for sure. But if it did, I would have been screwed. Then again, I'm faster, so it really wouldn't have mattered. And he has a Rhyhorn at level 50. That's his strongest Pokemon. Not a Rhydon, the fully evolved form of Rhyhorn. Another Rhyhorn. Well, Giovanni, we're going out in style, buddy. Later! No way that thing's surviving that. Okay. If it did, I would have eaten my hat. Like a lot of other people that did this week, apparently, from what I've heard. Anyway. Ha! That was truly an intense fight. You have won. As proof, here's the Earth Badge. Well. Huh. So, apparently, Giovanni... That's kind of what I like about him. He's a man of class. Woohoo! 10,000. Nice. He went down gracefully. The Earth Badge makes Pokemon of any level obey without question. It is evident of your mastery as a Pokemon trainer. With it, you can challenge the Pokemon League. Also, take this TM. Yes, we get Earthquake! Earthquake is one of my favorite ground-type moves, and it's probably the best ground-type move in my opinion. It's a massive attack that causes a massive tremor. I made it when I ran the gym here, far too long ago. Having lost in this fashion, I can't face my followers. I have betrayed their trust. As of today, Team Rocket is finished forever. As for myself, I shall dedicate my life to training again. Let us meet again someday. Farewell. And yeah, that's the end of Team Rocket. Now, if you walk over where Giovanni was and use your item finder, you'll find an item that is very helpful for Eevee trainers. Uh, the Macho Brace. Basically, that doubles um, the Eevees that you get in battle. But I'm not going to go over Eevee training because even I barely know what that is. And I'm just starting as an Eevee trainer, so yeah. At least I know about the Macho Brace and the power items. That's beside the point. Anyway, guys, we're done. Look at this. All eight batches of Kanto. And a lot of money. Yeah, I know where I'm spending that game corner. I'm getting my Porygon, Shadow Ball, and Ice Beam. Also, take a look at this. I never mentioned this. Uh, if you go to the game corner, there's this little machine in the corner uh, of the game corner. Uh, you can take a picture of all your Pokemon and put them on your trainer card. 
I'll have to update that when uh, Dratini evolves, or Dragonair evolves soon, but yeah. We're done here, guys. So off screen, I'm going to go beat up all the trainers that I missed in uh, Cinnabar Mansion and One Island and catch all the Pokemon that I missed between uh, the episodes here. And then I'm probably going to go to the uh, game corner and pick up uh, stuff. Lots and lots of stuff. And then after that, we're going to take a few detours here and there around uh, Kanto. It won't take too long. There's a Pokemon we need to trade over to uh, get something. And uh, we need to pick up Porygon up at the uh, game corner. And yeah, so we'll be heading to Celadon and Cerulean for those two things. And then next episode, we head out west to Route 22 and to face the Pokemon League. The final frontier, guys. So I'll see you then. Bye-bye.